to experience the love and love the experience. This is our worship service at Restoration of Life Ministries International. Welcome on with those hands together. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Make sure you rejoice yes. and be glad. How many of you glad you made it into the house of the Lord? Or how many of you glad at home that God woke you up this morning?
until someone come crying, what must I do to be saved, Lord God? Yes. Bless the song service that's coming forth right now, Lord God. Let us rejoice in you, Lord. God, we love you, God. We say thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. That the Jesus in me yes. loves the Jesus in you. Yes. Truly, the Jesus that's in me loves the Jesus in you. How many y'all feel like that? Yes.
turn it back over to Lady Bell. My Black History Portion. Let's give her a hand and some comments. represent strength, amen, because nothing won't break us. We're not being funny, but yet we have to move forward, amen? Amen, and we have to celebrate who we are in today's time. Amen, how many of you know we need a strong God? Hallelujah, amen, and so today we are going to, and I don't want to take nobody out of the spirit, uh, so you still worship God as you please, but we just want to uh, just honor God on today, amen, with um, history celebration. And today, we have a very special young lady who is coming to represent one of our very own. Amen. Michelle Obama. Amen. Amen. Sister Cherise. Barbara Bush for her discipline and her 
Obama's style has been described as a fashion populist. We honor and uplift her for Black History Month at Roman Church, the one and only legendary first Afro-American floats, First Lady of the United States, Miss Michelle Obama. Yeah.
your storm. My, my brothers and my sisters, let's I do this text. And in Jesse's thank you, musicians. I need to journey back for a moment so that we can get a clear understanding. The children of Israel or the Israelites were the descendants of Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel. After he wrestled with the angel in Genesis chapter 32, verse 24 through 30, Jacob's family had moved to Egypt at the invitation of Joseph, one of Jacob's sons who had become a great ruler under Pharaoh. While in the land, the people of Israel multiplied into a great nation. Uh, Exodus chapter number one, verse six through 10 says, and Joseph died and all his brothers and all of the generation died. But the children of Israel was still fruitful and increased abundantly multiplied and grew exceedingly mighty. And the land was filled with them. Verse number 8 says, Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Look, the people of the children of Israel are more and mighty than we. Come, let us deal truly with them, lest they multiply and it happen in the event of war, that they also join our enemies and fight against us. And so go up out the land. First thing we need to understand that is that Pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites were becoming too numerous and that they would organize and threaten his kingdom. We need to understand that your enemies are more afraid of you than you are of them. Uh, tell somebody, your enemies are more afraid of you than you are of them. Uh, Tell somebody and mean it. Uh, your enemies, your enemies are, more are more afraid of you than you are, than you are of, them. of them. So, so he made them slaves and oppressed them. Uh, why would he do that? Why enslave people in this Black History Month? I think it is an appropriate question to be asked. Why enslave people? Uh, I just love your kinds of questions. Uh, he did it to kill their spirit and to stop their growth. Uh, as we go through our daily trial, we must be sure that we don't allow people, uh, we don't allow situations, uh, we don't allow them. Who is them? Them can be you. Uh, to kill your spirit. Uh, you need to guard your spirit. Because if you allow your trials, if you allow people, uh, if you allow your circumstances to kill your spirit, it will hinder your growth. Uh, uh, the Egyptians' plan was to wear down the Hebrew people by forcing them 
into slavery and mistreating them. But instead, the Hebrews uh, uh, being uh, wore down, they multiplied. And they grew stronger. I'm reminded of that uh, cartoon, uh, Baby Kids. Uh, Baby Kids say, we don't die, we multiply. Uh, uh, the Pharaoh put them in the slavery to wear them out, to stop them from growing. But they didn't die. Uh, they multiplied. Uh, they grew stronger. And uh, we need to understand that when we are burdened and mistreated, uh, we may sometimes feel defeated. Uh, but remember, our burdens can make us stronger. Uh, you didn't know what you know about you until you went through your greatest trial. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know that you could survive some stuff had he not brought you to it. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that you can live through a broken marriage. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that you could survive in the loss of a job, in the loss of a loved one. But it's our burden. That helps us to realize just how strong we are. Uh, also, we need to understand that our burdens can develop qualities in us. Uh, our burdens can develop qualities in us that prepare us for our future. Did you know that what you're going through now? will prepare you for your tomorrow? <laughs> it's because of my suffering that today I can, I can face almost anything. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, it's because I had to go through what I went through uh, that helps me to stand in difficult times. Why? Because I've already seen too much about God. Uh, uh, it, it is our burdens uh, that, that helps develop us. And in developing us through our burdens, it gives us qualities that prepares us for our future. Uh, we cannot be overcomers without troubles and trials to overcome. So how then can we declare to be overcomers if we never had anything to overcome? So we have the children of Israel in captivity in Egypt. Uh, for over 400 years under Pharaoh, God heard uh, their cry. Uh, God heard the cry of the Israelites uh, because of Pharaoh. Tell somebody, be careful what you do to me. Don't be scared of them. Tell them, be careful what you do to me. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. Be careful what you say to me. Hallelujah. I'm a child of the king. I might not look like much in your eyes. But thank God, I'm a son of the living God. Uh, God heard the cry of his people. Uh, God seen uh, the oppression that his people went through in Egypt. So God called Moses uh, to go back to Egypt to speak to Pharaoh. Sometimes God will call one of you to make it back. We never had a black president, but God calls one of us 
to make it back, to speak to our enemies. Uh, uh, uh. Moses tell Pharaoh uh, what God said. Moses tell Pharaoh God said to let my people go. But you know the story, Pharaoh's heart got harder and harder toward the children of Israel. Finally, after witnessing the power of God through the ten plagues, Pharaoh let the children of Israel go. Uh, uh, let's look for a moment at this great exit. First of all, as they exit Egypt, God gave them favor with those that had them oppressed. Um, uh, the word says they exit Egypt with all of Egypt's gold and silver. They exit Egypt with their flocks and their herds. They exit Egypt with food and clothes. Uh, and the first thought I want to leave you, the first point I want to leave with you is, uh, 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 you have to be careful or we must understand the delivering power of God. Many of us cry and we weep because we don't understand the delivering power of God. It's okay to cry, but you got to know the power of your God. Ask somebody, do you know the power of your God? God can and God will deliver his people from their enemies. Over 400 years in captivity, and God finally, somebody said finally, finally. delivers. Yes, Thank you, God. Yes. Yes. Somebody said finally. 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 Thank you, God. you ever been going through and you just got tired of going through? Then finally, a breakthrough. Yeah. Finally, a peace of mind. Yes, yes. Rest. Finally, Rest. peace in your spirit. But the sad part is that many of us don't recognize the peace because we're so used to going through chaos. Come on. Till when God delivers you, yes. we don't even recognize that the hand of the Lord just brought you out of a bad situation. Uh, the old folks say it like this, he may not come when you want him. But he always on time. Yeah. I don't care uh, what has you or how long you've been in captivity, God can deliver. Yeah. Uh, when God speaks, all creation and nature must respond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now we hear in the 14th chapter of Exodus, we see the children of Israel trapped at the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army behind them. Having fled from Egypt from the enemies, they are now being pursued by these same enemies. Uh, the second point uh, I want to leave you with is to keep moving forward. Tell somebody to keep moving forward. God Delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. And the very thing that he delivered them from started pursuing them. And so many times when we look at our enemy pursuing us again, we have the, potent the potential to stop. You ever try? Or seen on TV some of the movies where somebody trying to get away but they keep looking back. Yeah. 
You ever try to run and keep looking back? Don't you know every time you look back, you slow down? Don't you know every time uh, you look back, you allow your enemy to gain ground? But look at somebody and tell them, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. <laughs> Exodus 14, in verse 15, the Lord says to Moses, why do you cry to me? I tell the children of Israel to go forward. Uh, why are you crying now? He done brought you out. Tell somebody, move forward. Uh, here you are in being pursued by your enemy. This ain't the time to stop and pray. When you're being pursued, tell somebody, keep moving forward. What are you praying for now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Move forward. Yeah. Uh, the Lord told Moses, he said, tell the people to stop praying and to get the move. Tell somebody to get the move. Yeah. Tell them again, get the move. Get the move. Yeah. I know prayer must have a vital place in our lives. <laughs> but that's also a time that we must take action. And many of us standing still when we should be taking action. Yeah. Tell somebody to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Uh, my third and final thought is don't forget about your song. Tell somebody don't forget about your song. Exodus. Chapter 15, verse number 1, talks about the song the children of Israel sung after the Lord brought them through the Red Sea. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider. He has thrown into the sea. Uh, the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become salvation. He is my God. And I will praise him. My father God, I will exalt him. This was their song. Notice after being delivered from Egypt, after seeing all of their enemies drown in the Red Sea, they are now in the wilderness. And for three days they couldn't find water. Yeah. Verse 24 says, And the people complained against Moses, uh -huh. saying, What shall we drink? We drink. Oh I'm confused. Mm -hmm. You've been in captivity for 400 years. Right, 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 right. The Lord delivered you and bring you out of that which had you captive. You three days in the wilderness. Now you complaining about war. 400 years in bondage. 400 years in slavery. And you couldn't deal three days Without war, you can see the hand of the Lord. You forgot that quick as you cross through a sea. Uh, I'm, I'm confused because it was a body of water before. 
God tells Moses, use what's in your hand. Moses stretched out the rock. The Bible said the water congealed on both sides. It said these complaining people over 200 million people went through a sea on dry land. Nobody slipping and sliding. But all of the children of Israel making the cross to the other side. Okay. Uh, when it got across the other side, yeah, yeah. they began to sing to the Lord. Yeah. You know how it is when God do something good for us. Yes, sir. Yeah. We begin to sing this little light of mine. Yeah. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Yeah. Uh, it began to get good to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. He brought you out of captivity. Now you got a red letter. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor and say, what happened, what happened to your song? song? Did we forget yes, that the Lord brought us out? Yeah. Yeah. How then shall we sing uh -huh. when we in a, a, a strange land? Come on, right. We forgot that we was in bondage. Yeah. We forgot that we was a people without no hope. Yeah. But God saw fit to save us. Yeah. He said, when you was polluted yeah. Yeah. in your own blood. Yes, sir. He said, everybody passed by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, but yeah. me and my compassion, yes, sir. I picked you up. Yes, sir. I cleaned you up. Yes, sir. I set you on a I cured your mouth. Yeah. And now you got a red letter. Yeah. And you forgot about your song. Yeah. Your song might not be yeah. this little light of mine. But I encourage everybody in here today. You need to get your song back. Yeah. Tell somebody, get your song back. Yeah. Oh, folks, you can say amazing grace. Yeah. How sweet the sound that saved the wretch. Like me, I once was lost, but now I found what blind, but now I see. Ask your neighbor, what happened to your son? Is the same God that brought you out of darkness? Is the same God that kept you from destroying yourself? Is the same God that delivered you? If you came 
in contact with God. Tell somebody, you a song. You don't have to sing out your mouth, but your life you live should be that song. The writer said, I think that a song should be something more than a simple melody. Uh, 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 a melody is something that makes your heart fun. But so long, Elder, too long, Elder, uh, we go through and God knows we're going through. But the first thing we do is we lose the very thing that brought us out. What happened to your song? So what you going through? Some rough times right now. What happened to your song? Is it still not good? Because you got issues? Is it still a way maker? Because you had to experience life? What happened to your song? Perhaps, Kitty and we spend more time singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of arguing and fussing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he can bring us on out. God has a sense of humor. You didn't read it? When he told Moses, he said, I'm going to say it like in the words, said it. He said, right now, why are you crying after me? Okay. He said, I've done what I had to do. I brought them out of Egypt. So why are you crying after me? He said, tell the people to shut up and move what? Forward. If this is your decision, move forward. Why get out and be stuck? So you got problems. You gonna stand there? You gonna stand there and cry? It's almost worse than somebody spilling a glass of milk. Hungry. Cereal just waiting. But they spilled the milk. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay. I'm hungry. Okay. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I spilled the milk. I don't understand. What's wrong with you? I spilled the milk. Get up! Get you another glass of milk. We get out. The Lord deliver us. And the reason why our enemies catch back up with us is because we cease movement. Yeah. 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 That's all right. He tired of me. The devil tired of Bell. I don't know what that guy going to do. Every time I catch up with him in the corner, he way down there. That's all right. Every time I think I got him here, the Lord gave him something else to do. Now he way back over here. He think he got me because I paused just to gather my strength. But right before he grabbed me, I start moving again. I got a song. I am that song. When people look at me, they got to sing something. Whether it's negative, it's all right. Sing your negative song, but it ain't going to stop me. Or whether it's positive, that's all right. Sing your positive song. Okay. Your positive song ain't gonna stop me. Cause I, I'm on an assignment from God. What is your assignment? We cried out to God for deliverance. He wrote it. What's your assignment? Did he bring you this far? Did the children of Israel think he brought them out? They let them drown at the Red Sea? Even when he brought them through the Red Sea, Kevin, they got on the other side. They crossed, all of them. 
He allowed them to look and see those that were suing them. They all drowned before their very eyes. Not one of their enemies made it across. And yet they got across to the other side and started crying in three days about water. As much water as was in that sea, standing up on the side of the wall, I'd rather have pop. Okay. <laughs> 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 I don't never know water in it. You see all that water congealed and you saw it. And you gonna get, get across to the other side and complain because you want something to drink. Water? That big one of them cows. Okay. I showed them on the water. Water? water? Look, look at what caused us to lose favor with God. All that water you went through, Carl. Now they argue. Mona, you brought us out here to thirst to death. If it's enough water, all you got to do is go to the water on the side and get a drink. But look what separated us from God. Ask your neighbor again, what happened to your son? I'm encouraging somebody here today. Perhaps along the way it happens. Tell somebody, life happens. It does. Life don't keep happening. You know how many transitions me and Lady Bell made in 30 years, life happens. But what kept us going is we never lost the song. Sometimes we have to sing the song moaning. We don't know how we made it out, but we had to sing something. Sometimes life seems unfair. That's all right. Sing something. If you gotta sing the out out song, sing something. Let them know where you at. He said he he he's a God that's acquainted with grief and sorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might might not be singing old happy days every day. But because of the grace of God, you should have something to sing about. What happened to your song? What happened to that thing you got? You got only you can choose the song. Uh, that, 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 that ministers to you. When, when the enemy tried to make me think, that Redonna is no good for me. I sing this song. Remembering so well the day that I met you. All right. You took me in your arms and caused dreams to come true. For the fear of what's to be, you came and rescued me. And I pray today for the rest of my life. You live inside my heart. Yes. All right. Yes. For all my life. How many times oh, we got to a rock Beautiful. and a hard place? You know how many times I had to remind myself of that song? And after singing that song, it made me realize it's not that bad. It gave me hope. Even for one more day. 
If I can make it one more day, yeah. I can make it. Come on. Yes, Lord. I don't care how much the enemy tried to tear us apart. And it came several ways. Yeah. Many shapes of form. In 30 years, but I remember the song. And it's the song that binds us to the commitment that we made to God. It's the song that keeps you when you want to run off carelessly. Tell the body you need the song. And I encourage you, there's nothing so bad. You just got to find your song. Sometimes you just got to stop talking. Come here, baby. Sometimes you just got to stop talking. And just sing your song. If you lose your voice, harm it. And I pray today for the rest of my life. You live inside me. relationship with God. Find your song. Tell somebody, find your song. Find your song. Find your song. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Find your song. What happened to your song? Come on, give God a word. Yeah! strength that brought me here. It ain't always been good. And I, I know I'm not by myself. place today. And some of you all to remember God.
Black History Month, and I, I understand, you know, we've come a long way, y'all. But don't ever lose your song because God is yet with us. Yes, yes. Somebody said they only gave us one month. Well, you only have one birthday, you have one anniversary. You have one day of this, you have one day of that holiday. You only get one day. But they gave us 30 to recognize that it's time to move forward. That it's time to pick up our cross and walk. That it's time to look ahead. See, I can't stop what happened in 1997. I couldn't stop what happened in 2001. <laughs> I couldn't stop what happened. Come on, we got a lot of history of pain and suffering. But our strength has brought us here. You can't stop and remember the things that you've been through. Because when you stop, the enemy catches up with us. I heard that when he said it. And somebody need to hear that today. When you stop, the enemy catch up with you. And God is catapulting us into another place in Him. Thank you, Jesus. 2021. Thank you, Jesus. 2020 W-O-E. Thank you, Jesus. We've already won, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying, don't let 2020 stop you from serving me in 2021. Because see, I can do more than a pandemic. Thank you, Jesus. I can bring more than a plague to your house. <laughs> You sitting here today, you at home in your living room, you able to watch me on TV, but I could have gotten a whole lot more. Thank you, you said, don't stop serving me. What happened to your song? Yeah. 2021 ought to be a year of recovery where the people of God are doing more, going after more, going out to help more, going to love more, going to do more, going to see more, going to do more, 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 more. Come on, more, more.
But then God said, I need y'all on your knees. I need your praising. I need your praying. I need more. He said, I need more. He said, I need more. How many are ready to do more in 2021? I'm talking to them that are here. How many are ready to do more? A lot of us say, I'm going to do more, I'm going to do better, I'm going to do more, I'm going to do better, I'm going to do more, I'm going to do better. But we let the enemy catch up with us. And he prohibits our praise. He prohibits our growth. He prohibits our strength. He prohibits us from going forward. And God said, I need y'all to go forward. Come on, we a whole church. It takes arms, hands, and ears. We need everybody. If the pandemic didn't kill you, you ought to be working. If the Lord spared you, you ought to find something to do. If God didn't take you in this season, we ought to be about our Father's business. We need a strong people of God. Don't get caught up. Hallelujah. That was all to go. But we're gonna move forward. I won't hold you. But hear ye the word of the Lord. Don't lose your song in this year. They say the month of March, this variant, it's gonna wipe out twice as many. But don't stand still. I said, I need y'all to move forward. And I need you praising me. Yeah. I need you worshiping me. How many people want to worship God? Yeah. Come on, don't just let me talk to you. Come on, what's in your heart? What's in your spirit? Don't just have God on the outside. What's on the inside of you? Come on, somebody on the open their mouth and give God a praise. And somebody can just give them glory. Just give them glory. If he allowed us to stay here today, come on and praise him. Come on and worship him. Come on and give him glory. Come on. Amen. This is our time where we give unto God the tenth. 